if you guys want the best quality gaming glasses for the lowest prices, make sure you check out noscopeglasses.com. Use the link in the description for 5% off. Hello people of the internet, what's going on? I'm the Matty Boy 2 Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you the best team on FIFA. This team is absolutely unbelievable. You guys know I'm not the best at FIFA, but this team... I think I've I've played about eight games with it now, um, and I've only lost one, and that was unlucky. Um, I played quite well then, anyway. So, let's show you the team. We start off with, obviously, the keeper, and in net, we go with um, David De Gea. He's quite a weird keeper for me, actually. Some matches he's brilliant, others he's absolutely terrible. Um... He's very inconsistent, but um, when he is good, he's, in my opinion, like one of the best keepers on the game. That's why I've gone with him. Two centre-backs, we have Laurent Koscielny and Sergio Ramos. Two incredible centre-backs. Right back, we go with Dani Alves, and left back is Leighton Baines. Baines has um, at least 70 for every stat you can see there. Brilliant player. Uh, can hold up the ball very well. Koscielny and Ramos. Um, both quite pacey, but have very good depending on physical as well. Um, Ramos's high attacking work rate kind of screws you over sometimes, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal for me. Danny Alves's free kicks and long shots are unbelievable for me. In the midfield, we go with Tony Cruz. Team of the season, Dahoud, and upgraded Meza Ozil. Honestly, Cruz's uh, long shots and Ozil's actually are unbelievable. And Dahoud can run with the ball. Um, his stats don't look as good as they feel in game. He's absolutely brilliant. Right forward, we go with the Team of the season, Sané, which um, obviously you get for uh, winning the Bundesliga tournament. If you don't have him, yeah, I think any right winger or right mid uh, from the Bundesliga will work as long as they are German. So you could go with Hermann or Bellarabi. Um, but Sané is absolutely unbelievable. Um, when I recorded the actual building of the squad, um, he hadn't played that great for me. But as soon as I started recording, he was like a completely different player. Uh, right forward... I, I don't really like him at um, right mid or right wing, but at right forward, he is an absolute tank. Left forward, we go with Franck Ribéry. Oh my god. He's so cheap right now for what he can do. He's, in my opinion, probably the best player under 30k in the game. Dribbling, brilliant. Finishing, brilliant. Free kicks are good. He's just a, a, such a well-rounded player who creates chances and scores goals as well. And then at striker, we go with upgraded Robert Lewandowski. What a season this guy's had. And on FIFA, he's brilliant as well. Um, you can see there, the first five games I've played with him, he got four goals. Um, in the games I recorded, Ribery and Sané seem to get more goals than uh, Lewandowski. But Lewandowski is still a great player. He's got a good pass on him. Um even though his stat doesn't show it's that good, it does feel a lot better. Um, decent pace, brilliant shooting. Um, I found I hit the post a lot with this guy um, whilst I was recording. But still, a brilliant shot. I would definitely recommend him. Anyway, that is a team. Let's get into the highlights. Okay, guys, jumping into the highlights here, you can see Koscielny wins the ball back. As I said before, he's such a brick in defence. Um... We're playing uh, the ball around in the um, attacking third right now. That's one thing this team is absolutely brilliant for. Just passing it around. Creating chances, even if I don't score them, it's absolutely brilliant. You can see here, Lewandowski gets the ball and is unlucky not to score there. Next clip we have, um, again winning the ball back with Koscielny. He is honestly one of my favourite defenders in the game. Um, Dahoud gets the ball there, gets tackled, but then wins it back and finishes it nicely. You can see it, 
breaking down um, the wing. An incredible pass by Ozil. Perfect weight. Um, I take the heavy touch with Ribery. You can see it's just so easy dribbling past everyone with him. And then an absolutely incredible finish by Ribery there. Um, for someone so short, he has an absolutely amazing shot. Um, once again, winning the ball back. Leroy Sané turns and then finesses it into the corner. Sané, for me, was the best player in this team. Either him or Ribery. Absolute class. Sané again with the ball here. Easily takes it past three players. And then finesses it again into the far corner. And we finish the first game with a 4-0 win. Second game now. You can see um, pretty much straight away, actually, we break, play the ball through the middle, and we get a lovely goal there with, I think that was Ribery. Yeah, Frank Ribery. Leroy Sané dribbling past everyone with ease. He's so, he's so good at dribbling, and then Chiellini takes him out, and we do get the penalty. Not only that, but Chiellini gets his second yellow card of the game, and then obviously gets sent off. So, um, I give this penalty to Lewandowski. He's, I think, I think he has the best penalty stats in the team. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but obviously I wanted to get his, uh, goal to game ratio up a bit as well. Takes it, bang. The keeper had no chance there, to be fair. Um, even if he dived the right way. You can see it, we're breaking again. An absolute peach of a ball to Leroy Sané. Runs with it. Cuts back, does really well there to get past the defender and yet again finesses it into the far corner. And we do win our second game 3-1. Because see, we're 2-0 down in this game. I didn't play great, but I did um, okay, I think. Tony Cruz here and what a goal that is. That's what I was talking about with these long shots. Absolutely unbelievable. Going into the next game, you can see, again, passing it around in that attacking third. Um, we have a couple of chances here. Unlucky to not get the goal on the first two attempts. But then Sané whips it into the far post. And Lewandowski with an incredible leap to get above his defender and score a great header. Winning a free kick in a perfect position here. I love free kicks from this area. And having Tony Cruz and Mesut Ozil in the midfield... Makes free kicks. It's so easy to score. Tony Cruz here. What a goal that is. I don't know if I prefer that. Or his long shot. Which you saw a few seconds ago. Getting a corner. Normally I don't try that. But with Ribery on the edge of the box. You sort of have to. A great volley there. Into the bottom corner. And again. We did go behind in this game. But we managed to pull it back. Great ball to Sané, dribbling through everyone and then puts it in at the near post. This team is absolutely unreal, guys. I would definitely recommend it. It costs about 200k, but it's worth every single coin. If you guys can afford it, please build it and just try it. You will thank me. Anyway, that was it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best.